family. Welcome to Mrs. Koi Style. My name is Kawana. I thank you so much for joining me here on my channel where I speak about style. I do some hauls and every now and again, I sprinkle in a little bit of luxury. If that is something that interests you, I hope that you will continue watching, especially today, because what a treat. I am doing my first sustainable clothing haul and I'm doing it all live and in person. Like this is just taking place right now because I received this big gigantic box of some items. I barely remember even what I ordered, but I'm going to open them up so you'll get to see my first reactions and impressions. If that is something that interests you, please, 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 please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's get in. So here's a little backstory. Who would I even be without some sort of a backstory, right? My good blogger friend who I speak to all the time had a really fantastic closet sale on her IG Live. Her name is Angela Baltimore. She has fantastic, really, really wonderful style. And so she let her followers know that she would be selling off a lot of her items, trying to, you know, get some things out of her home to make space for newer things. And she also shared that everything that she was selling would be on the range of $5, only up until $25. So I knew that I would have to tune in for that. And so she had all of these things. Oh, look at how nicely the box is packaged. Okay, so let's just go get into it. Um, and let me see what I purchased from my friend Angela Baltimore's closet. So again, I kind of don't even remember what I, what I picked up, but I'm just so excited about this. Okay, so I'm just gonna reach in here. Okay, so the first thing is, gosh, I forget what you call it. It's kind of like a, a teddy bear material um and it is a i want to say a three quarter length coat this is very very soft um this this feels quite nice and it has these um brown ish sort of tortoiseshell buttons i will be trying um everything that i can on immediately following but yeah i think that i will enjoy this um, quite a bit. This is so nice and soft and this is the the perfect season for it and I did not have a um, a winter white coat so I am super excited about this. All right I hope it fits. And the next item that I'm pulling out is the one item that I do remember that I purchased because I don't know if you all know but yellow is most definitely one of my favorite colors especially in during the fall and winter months. Look at how she wrapped this up. I think she wrapped it because she knows that yellow is kind of uh, my thing. But oh my goodness. It is this beautiful yellow biker jacket. Wow, this looks, I just love this mustard yellow color. I mean, this color is just amazing. Oh my goodness, but it looks it looks tiny. I'm not sure if it's going to fit. I'm going to have to make this work. Oh my goodness. This is so nice. And this is actually from Zara. I don't know how many seasons ago she purchased this, but I was able to score this particular item. I remember the price. This was $20 in her, in her closet sale. I am so excited about this one. Oh, it even looks nice with gray. Isn't it amazing how yellow pairs so nicely with with so many different colors that you would not necessarily expect yellow and gray yellow and brown yellow and black yellow and white yellow and red i mean yellow can can really be amazing i hope this fits so that i'll be able to show you all how i can um style this up so yeah number two so the next item looks oh my goodness Oh, wow. I definitely forgot about this one. Oh, so cool. So this is a cold shoulder or off the shoulder 
sort of blazer. Oh my goodness, I forgot that I purchased this. This is so cool. And this looks like it's gonna fit beautifully. I love this color combo of blue and black. Look at these kind of billowy, dramatic sleeves. Oh wow, this is, this is amazing. I am so excited about this. I hope that this fits. Well, I think it will. Look at the detail of this. Look at the, the little buckle up here on the shoulder. I guess the shoulder portion kind of just drops down to here and gives like this kind of shoulder detail situation up top. I think this would be able to be styled very elevated or even down because um, like so when I'm saying down, I'm referring to maybe I can wear this with jeans. I can certainly wear it with a skirt. Oh, wow. This is really nice. Oh my goodness, and this is from the brand ASOS. And honestly, I don't remember what I paid, but as I said, everything that she had in this particular closet sale ranged in price from $5 up until $25. And I don't believe that I paid $25 for anything. I think everything I purchased was at the $20 mark down to um, $5. And so, oh yeah, I'm so excited about this. Okay, cool. Okay, so let me dig into the box for what's next. All right. So we have a wrapping of some more things. It looks like three items. I just love how Angela, I just love Angela's attention to detail. I've purchased things from her boutique before. She also has um, an online store where she kind of sells like um, merchandise such as t-shirts. She just debuted a new sweatshirt. She has an ebook, but her presentation with everything that you purchase from her, everything that she gives is, is really quite amazing. So you should um, check that out. I'll put her information in the description box below. But back to my sustainable clothing haul that I got from my home girl, Angela Baltimore. So the next thing that I have here, oh, a pair of workout leggings. I have to start working out again. I haven't worked out in a couple of months and it's driving me crazy. But as we know, I wear workout wear as outerwear. Like that's how I walk these streets. Well, not walk the streets, but you know. Anyway, okay. So, but aren't these so cool with this kind of mesh detail down here on the thigh and this gray sort of silver stripe detail? It has pockets, which is really great to be able to slip your phone into. And I say that whenever you can find workout wear, leisure wear, or leggings at an affordable price, you should definitely grab it. I believe that I paid $5 for these. Still has the tag on it from TJ Maxx. So these were never worn and I picked them up $5. So I'm excited to uh, put these on as well. Maybe I'll wear these with my yellow biker jacket because I'm just that kind of person. And then the next item, oh, is this sort of a, I'm gonna call it like a vest top. I don't know what you call, well, it's a, it's a sleeveless top that has this um, lace up detail here on the side. This could certainly be worn on its own, maybe with a blade, well, this can certainly be worn on its own during warmer months or um, what I was thinking. I would pair this over a white button down shirt to kind of just give it like a, a different look and maybe let the, uh, the white part of the shirt cascade down out of the bottom. But um, I think that this is a really great layering piece either to layer over something or to layer under something, if that makes any sense. So I'm super excited about this. This is in a very nice um, stretchy material. Oh, and this is another Zara knit. So I picked up more from Zara in this sustainable clothing haul than I've ever picked up from Zara when I've actually walked into the store. So I'm excited about this one too. And then next it's this sort of a tunic top. Oh wow, this is so beautiful. Look, just look at the detail of this top. I don't know if these are some sort of um, flowers or something, but it's this beautiful gold, bronze, brown, up against beige. And it's, it's, it's a tunic style. And I, I kind of like the juxtaposition of the fact that it just looks like a very sort of casual style top, but then it has the drama of this, I want to say, Am I getting this word right? Is it is it like a, a, a brocade sort of material? Almost like um, 
the sort of texture or material that you would see like in a fancy restaurant on the curtains or even like a beautiful tablecloth. I know that it sounds like an odd description, especially for something that you're wearing, but I'm just trying to help you understand what I'm feeling and what I'm seeing in this, um, in this pattern, in this texture. So I really like this, especially as like sort of a elevated kind of casual be in the house look, um, particularly around the holidays, because this certainly looks very comfortable, but also elevated in terms of the um, material and texture. And this top came from J. Crew, and I am fairly certain that uh, I paid also $5 for this one. So yeah, excited about this one as well. And now the third item that was in that little bundle are these orange, wide leg trouser pants. Um, I know that I got a, a decent price on these, which is why I, I grabbed them. Um, these are also really nice. I believe that these will fit me quite well. And they still have uh, the tag attached. I believe that Angela mentioned that, oh, it has a, a side zip, which makes me believe hopefully that they're high-waisted. I find high-waist, wide-leg pants and jeans to be um, just so, so extremely flattering, especially with a heel, because you know a heel is going to make everything just pop. And um, Angela did share that um, these particular pants came with a blazer. However, she didn't have the blazer available um, at the time of the sale, but she assured me that she will find it and um, ship that out to me as well. So I have these pants that I'm also excited about. And finally, the last bundle, I believe. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Now I remember this as well. Okay. All right. This is a little leopard print fur jacket with the three-quarter length sleeve, which will probably be short sleeve on me because of my height. But when I saw this, I said, I definitely need to um, grab this one. This is from H&M. And I do not really wear a lot of animal prints. I've been um, experimenting with them a little bit more this year than I ever have in the past. But usually I, I don't wear them very much unless it's like in a shoe or perhaps a scarf. So I thought that when something is affordable, as you know, when something's affordable, I'll always give it a chance. And so this was an opportunity for me to try that out. I understand that the sleeves are intended to be short. So um, I envision maybe wearing them with a, a high kind of glove and give it some drama or um, I'm going, I'm definitely going to fool around with this, but this feels so nice and soft. I'm super excited about trying this one on as well and um, styling this up. And uh, this one came from H&M. I forgot about this. Like, I'm excited about all of this outerwear. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so my box is empty. Let me get into some um, trying on. Okay, so I am definitely sweating. I think this, I haven't done anything like this in a long time. I honestly just unboxed those things and then I went and tried absolutely everything on and then I'm coming back to do the outro. And I think this is kind of cool because I'm going to be able to give like an honest opinion of what I think of everything. And yeah, it may come as no surprise, but I actually like everything I'm, I'm 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 very i'm very pleased and um i think i'm even more pleased because after i made this purchase the initial the initial part of making the purchase was 
for me to support my girlfriend. Like she usually supports me, so I wanna show support. And then I started thinking about it. I said, this is a great cycle of clothing to the point where this is actually a sort of conscious, even though I did it unconsciously, but this is a conscious purchase, which is, which is very good for the environment and for sustainability. And before, before I said that, I wanted to make sure that I was correct in framing that this purchase was sustainable. So I reached out to my friend Jessica of Chic Professor, who is just so environmentally conscious. She always speaks about buying things that um, are going to keep our planet safe and, and making purchases that, are, that can sort of um, making very conscious purchases. So in any event, knowing that made me even more excited about knowing what I was doing long term for the environment in terms of like circling around the clothing, finding a new home for them, supporting my girlfriend and getting in some um in some new pieces. So I'm excited. I I really love the comfort of the white coat the um the leopard jacket i i sort of knew that it would fit the way that it does but i'm i i kind of um i'm actually more impressed with it by putting it on because now i'm really able to um envision some different things that i can do in terms of styling maybe some red leather gloves and my black satin skirt oh my gosh that could be a real moment um, the little uh, sleeveless top I think is phenomenal. I like the fit of it. I, I will at some point maybe style it on Instagram over a white shirt um, in the interest of time. I was not able to do that today. And um, I don't want to state the obvious, but I love the yellow jacket. I would have liked to have shown it um, unzipped just because not everybody wears a jacket closed up. You, I may wear it unzipped and maybe put like a, a sweater under and kind of do like the whole layered cool kind of biker girl in yellow look. Um, but I, I, I really like that and I, and I knew that I would. And oh my God, like the hugest, biggest surprises that off the shoulder or cold shoulder jacket, I mean, that blazer, what drama? I mean, I am so into that and I wasn't even sure that I would be. I know that I keep looking over in that direction because that's where the pile of clothes are left, but that was kind of like a dark horse for me. I knew that it was dramatic, but I just didn't know how excited it would make me when I tried it on. And um, OMG, I am definitely feeling that. So please let me know which of these items were your favorite. Also share with me, have you ever purchased pre-loved clothing either from a... Um, I don't know, a thrift store, consignment store, or from a friend? Do you give away your clothing? Do you accept hand-me-down clothing? Like, where do you stand in terms of the whole sustainability in the clothing system? So please share your thoughts with me in the comments below. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I hope everybody is still here. Maybe I'll have to do a disclaimer someplace else. Okay, but Angela is always having some sort of a closet clear out. In fact, this coming week, she's going to be um, selling off some of her jewelry. I'm not talking about fine jewelry. I'm talking about like affordable jewelry pieces. And so if you tune into her Instagram, um, I'm sure that she'll be doing a live. I'm not sure what time. So yeah, make sure you're following her if you want to score any of these um, goodies. And so that is it. I really am signing off this time. Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.